It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests. This is where they reveal the Avatar project. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the alien's progress on this Avatar project here. They finish what they've started. Oh, they start with three bars. That is a real problem. Right. Where are we? We're over here. We need to keep making contact. Hey, we reached the Templars. This is where the Templar faction maintains their headquarters. I'll admit they can be a bit extreme when it comes to psionics, but so far they seem loyal to our cause. We can scan at this location to gain additional support from their people. Okay, but what did they give me for that? My people understand the value of our cooperation, Commander. The Elders see us as nothing more than raw materials for this side. We will take back our power and turn it against them. Oh, Commander, it's about time we spoke, don't you think? I'm Geist. Oh, I need to begin operations actually. Come on, get on with that. The resistance can take on more responsibility should you need it. Oh, I need to actually build the resistance ring, that's right. Hey, we've got another field medic. Oh no. Oh, I thought I was worried there. And anything the game like freezes like that, I get concerned that it's gonna crash on me. In fact, I might take a save. Save an exit. I just want my okay. Return to game. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Okay, so we have the Templar, who is already at Corporal rank. They get Psy blades, Volt, Focus, and Momentum. These guys are kind of like the Jedi class.
That could be handy. Right, let's get some supplies, I think. Because we're always going to need supplies. And now that we've got the resistance ring, we can actually, like, um... We can actually send, like, covert missions out. This seems like just a, a dead, like, let's do this sort of thing, so let's send real Sim Shunny because she's one of our tech specialists, this will get her hacking up. We'll send a scientist and then we need to send her just a regular soldier. So let's send Raven King. This should be a nice, easy mission, hopefully. Um, right, let's keep clearing this. Twenty days to clear that. Where we get magnetic weapons, though. And then look at the list, because of the mod, it's going to make me go through every single one. Right, let's do the Vipe, uh, maybe the Sectoid one, because that's only three days. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. From my own experience, Advent generally deploys heavy Ooh. Advent is moving valuable alien technology across New Mexico. Okay, now this was a good team before. We have a medic back, but I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. So we have a Reaper now. Reaper who's going to use that rifle, because that's what I want them to use. Um, yeah, because the two of you make a good... Um, make a pretty decent uh, team. And then... Who you bond? Oh, you're bonded with Captain Cornpuff, and that's a good thing. Hmm... No, I want to stick with this team. I like this team. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Right, let's use the Reaper as a scout, like I said. 
They're a lot better at it than anyone else. Oh, what are you now? I mean, I know you're a probe droid, but what are you in the game? What are you like? What do you represent? We could be real aggressive because they don't know we're here yet. Oh, pickle possum! The game reset your gun, and you're also a medic. So let's actually like maybe hang you back a little bit. We've lost a few medics. We've lost the medic already. I don't want to lose another one. Okay, yeah, go away from me. That's fine. Do I? I might. I'm really tempted to stick the claymore. Like, I'm very tempted to stick the claymore on them, but I know I can't do that. Remote start, though. What can I start up? Nothing that they are near. Okay, good to know. I like that this downed jet is from like the first game as well, because that's the design they had in XCOM 1. You guys are going to come back this direction, aren't you? Yeah, yep. Oh, well, you're going to go that way. And they're going to fuck off into the... The fog. I'm really tempted just to start this off, just to kick it off and just go fuck it, let's grenade the, the hell out of them, because they're right on the edge of the map, look. Can't go any further. They'll have to run at us. I think the probe droid might explode when it dies. I have a feeling that that's a thing. I also don't think it's possible to flank the probe droid. Yeah, they do explode. Really good that I know that now. You stay hidden. Jedi, go kill. Well, the Jedi got a health bar, look. Oh, we got loot. A stock for a rifle. I need to actually start equipping them. gold crates. Now, they, I think, have the better loot in them. Richter. 
Let's see if they actually like activate some crates. Yeah, they do. They activate the crates. Right, these guys are going to activate. No, they don't seem to know that we're here. Okay, interesting. I can't remember if this triggers or not. Yeah, that does reveal you. Fuck. They'll definitely activate once I do that, so let's... At least get in a position where we can chuck a grenade in their, like, vicinity. Oh, yeah. Right, Iron Lord, get over there. Pick the crate up. You should be able to do it. Okay, one trooper and two stun, stun troopers. That's not... Too bad. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Fire oh, we're not close enough for that. And they're away in moves, so there's no point in doing that. Can I remote start something to explode you guys? No. So let's maybe just back you out of there. And I don't really want to rush the Jedi up, so let's have you move to there and hunker down. Force push does like a little bit of damage. Try it. We'll see what it does. Holy fuck! <laughs> oh, they what they did two, three damage at best. Fucking launch them across the map. That's like another turn he's gonna have to spend getting here. I'm fine with him taking one crate. Okay, he's marking Iron Lord. He's going to go in for the stab. The fact the game's reset this weapon annoys me. Oh, he's unconscious. That was bad. not going to kill him though, is it? Oh, he's just out as well. Right. How is... I was going to say, how has he got a flanking chop? He doesn't. I need to get Pickled Possum over there. Don't want to do that. Because that will. Ah, oh, yeah, this is. I mean, you have a pretty good chance of killing him. And you also have a pretty good chance of killing him. But I need to do damage to both of them first. You could move. You could move. I'm just realising this now. We can take a turn to get to Iron Lord. He missed. He fucking missed. God damn it. Right, go for the stab. Just 
kind of hoping that that would proxy off the, the stun ability thing. What? That's not going to blow anything up. Oh, right, there's a crate there as well. Fuck. Oh, this should kill him, come on. And you're not revealed. They're moving as quickly as they can to get those crates. If we want our share, we'll have to move just as fast. Oh, that's bad. They've got like one health left. And <laughs> here comes the other tent. <laughs> I forgot about him for a second. That dude was yeeted. Right, we really need to get like um we need to get people picked up. Chucking the claymore there and then shooting it is probably the best way to kill him. It just ensures he's dead, right? Units disorientated, so I can't really do much with them. Forty-two percent chance to stun him. It's not really going to work, is it? You know what? Let's try it. Defensive mine. Plant it there. <laughs> we'll overwatch, just in case, and we'll try and move the Jedi back to here. Because they've only got one health. And they need a medic. I'm going to lose these crates. Right, come on, kill him. God damn it. God damn it. He went for the mine! <laughs> yes. Right, okay, we need to do some medical stuff. So, Iron Lord, is he dead or is he just knocked out? I don't know. I can revive him. He was just knocked unconscious. It's fine, folks. Uh, right, go into force meditation. You need to move. You're in a shitty position. We all need to move. I've got no more heavy weapons. You're the only one I can move up, but I don't want to move up because then they'll start triggering the other crates, so just overwatch just now. There can't be many of them left. Move you there, you'll get healed. And then you can do a reload. You can start scouting out ahead.
still none, okay. Get yourself over there. Again, though, yeah, they'll get these boxes. I'm okay with them taking the supply crates. I'd rather keep my guys alive. So there's a crate we can grab. To take the two troopers. Okay, uh, if I can draw them out a little bit, that might be better. Because what's the explosion radius on that? Fucking huge. Let's grab that crate. Fucking rush it. pick a possum to really move up. On my way. They're coming, yes, come towards us. Come towards us so we can shoot the big canister and kill you. Okay, good hit. Decent that you your way of getting fucking blown to camp. He's gonna get a uh, fucking Dimbuk do. Okay, yeah, that's cool. That's what I'm after. Because that'll get that flame tripper as well, and it will not touch any of us. It might even, hold on, it might even get the other dude. It will blow up the canisters, but they'll really get them anyway. Because now me he big can move to here and he's flanked. And that should be mission. I need to remember to set myself too busy. And the Reaper got a level up, so the Reaper can do target identification, uh, target definition. Any unit seen by Reaper remains permanently visible or shrapnel. Claymore does plus three damage and has plus one radius. Um, let's do the Claymore because that is quite useful. So we killed two advent officers, we got a shit ton of supplies, alien alloys, alleriums, oh we got an agility mod, and a stock. Oh no. We need to get a med bay online. Um, Right, we oh that's what we need to do. We need to upgrade our weapons. Holy fuck, there's so much. Right, okay. Magnetic rifle squad upgrade. Do that. Mag shotty, do that. And then do the mag pistol. Right, Pickled Possum, let's first of all change you back to the gun you had. Make sure it's magnetic. 
you had that weird little grenade launcher thing, if I remember right. Before he made contact, I just assumed the spokesman had died or moved on. The micro grenade rifle, that's what you had. And I'll give you a stock. So your miss shots still do damage. And I'm going to upgrade your agility because a medic needs to be able to move about a little bit more. Uh, Iron Lord, you can also get a stock upgrade, I think. Make sure you're actually on the... Why is the... Oh, the shotguns haven't been upgrade upgraded, have they? Okay, let's not do that right this second then. Oh, the black market. Let's keep getting the supplies because we are desperate for them. We have a lot of upgrades to do. Then we'll look for the black market. Hey, Real Slim Sean has got a promotion. Uh, improve it, um, uh, improvements to our materials handling process will allow the next excavation to be complete instantly. Yes. Who do we want to get plus two aim? It should really be one of our snipers, I think. I'm going to go ahead and say... True man could get plus two aim. We'll commit a scientist and we'll send another soldier away. Uh, let's do Kurzdor. Send you away. Real Slim Shawnee. Eh? So we can give you adaptive. Plus one point of regenerative standard armor, that's pretty decent. Low profiles, full cover, and the battle scanner. Oh, the battle scanners are quite handy. But I'm going to go with the padding on you and give you a little bit of extra armor. And I need to change your gun again. Right, what will that get us? That gets us a breakthrough in the interface for any of our personal combat sims allow us to reuse them indefinitely. Or I can do autopsies and shit. This gets us the proving grounds, I think, the so let's do this. Officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, Field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Because the Proving Grounds will let us get ATRTs. Okay, what you got? Scientist for 100 intel. We can rush that to get experimental weapons. I'm not overly fussed. We can buy supplies. Or we can buy like a bunch of this. I'm not overly fussed for any of that right now, to be honest. Uh, let's go get a soldier. Not just a rookie, like a, a fully fledged soldier. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, that jumps up massively. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. By autopsy of the Advent, Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information. A great deal of information. Somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Yeah, I'm sure this lets me build the proving grounds. Added. Yeah, construct the proving ground uh, facility. Oh god, I've got loads of shit now. Right, 12 days to clear that. I'm aware, Central. Okay, so we got some extra uh, uh, support this month. Oh, that! Fuck that! No, that that doesn't get to happen. I don't want my covert, covert ops being ambushed. My people will listen, whether they like it or not. Are they getting another? They are. That's where the Viper King is as well. That's a whole, that is a bad mission. I get it. I know how to kind of deal with the, the rulers, actually. Right, come on. Stop this. And we could rescue Mox. Gain ability, improve combat, or actually hunt the. Yeah, let's hunt you down. Uh, I need a soldier that we want some extra health with. I'm thinking we send our other Jedi Knight Erebus to get some extra health. Call upon your help. 
Well, you have a mission for me. Commander, we're gonna win this war. We need to take every chance we get to fight back. Okay, so we'll get two. We'll get two tanks, which are computer-generated player uh, people. But we'll get 93 intel and an engineer. An engineer could actually start running on a second extraction. That could be really helpful. We need to do this. Mexico. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Right. Don't want to take explosives. If I don't have to. Real Slim Sean, I'm going to put you in the field for the first time. Because right, we don't have our Jedi, I'm going to put the Templar in, but I'm going to edit the Templar. I like that the game has kind of automatically given them a Jedi look, though. It's kind of cool. Um, loadout. Instead of an auto pistol, can I give you anything else? No. No, you are an auto pistol. And then gauntlets, you can only have gauntlets. Cool. Okay, VIP. Okay, so there's something on the way to the evac zone. Keep your heads up out there, people. Okay, so there's somebody there, and there's somebody there, so we need to go grab the VIP, which actually looks to be fairly easy. Oh, that's Iron Lord. I did not pick on the right person. Oh, Advent are here. Fuck, it's one of these missions. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't like these ones. And they've got ATRTs. get everybody in the building. If I can avoid the ATRT, I will. idea is to move the entire, like, m most of the squad as a unit. Hey, anyways, um, I don't think you missed much. We had a couple of missions and we were successful in them. Um, you are away on a mission so that you get an extra point of health. So yeah, the, kind of, the plan is to kind of um, use the Reaper to go out and get the other characters. So that one there... Where's the other one? There. So one's there. Which we should probably maybe get to actually. Like this turn. These are like randomly generated characters as well, so. As you order, Commander. Hopefully they're concealed. And then the main team are going to push through this building to the VIP. I can make it. So we're going to stack up on the door. Because there's Advent somewhere in here. I can hear them. <gasps> it came in the window. 
Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Right, we might actually be f fucked now. If I can pick you up, and then where's the other trooper? The other trooper's over there. I'm really hoping you're concealed. I'm really hoping you're concealed, my dude. You are. You're also concealed. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Reaper buddy. Get on the roof. Because there's another person... There, that, oh, that's a real fucking shit place to put them. There's advent troopers literally right below them. You could go and beat the shit out of that. You really could. Let's just overwatch. Oh, you could be an issue. Because I don't know where to put you... <laughs> yes. Okay. It's a bit of an evil laugh. Go the other way. Go that way. Crap. Oh, the flame dripper came in the back and now the ATRT sees us. Oh no. <laughs> what are you shooting? What did you shoot? You shot the flame tripper. Okay. You've burnt your exit. Crap, now you're revealed. I need to fix your model. Right, let's hope that the advent dudes down there, because they haven't activated yet, don't see us. You're an issue and I need to deal with you. Go away, no, I've just got this character. <laughs> Here's the plan. Kick the door in. Blow the fuck out of the ATRT. The tank dude needs to figure out his own problem right now because there's a, oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. We're new. It's a computer generated character. I'm not overly fussed about keeping them alive, but it would be nice just to have another soldier. There's so goddamn many. Ending. Holy crap. Right. Hello, ATRT. Let's move so that we can deal with you. Oh fuck Overwatch! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, she just, just got one health. I don't mind the lost, I can I can body block them. Oh the ATRT really needs to die like to die now. Oh fuck. What can you remote start? It's not gonna fuck our own dudes up. Right, Iron Lord, get yourself in there. I 
I need to heal her. I don't have a choice in the matter. Medkit heal. Right, Iron Lord, you can shoot that with a 92% chance to hit. Go for it. You did two damage. Two fucking damage. Oh my god, right. Even that's not going to kill it. I mean, it's a hundred percent chance to hit. It's going to do about two damage, and then we could combat protocol it. My worry is that it explodes. If I can get you to move, that'd be real nice. But I'm not going to get to Emma. I can. I can move you away. Excellent. Right, combat protocol, the ATRT, please kill it. Yep, and it did explode, that's what I was worried about. Will you settle down, please? Now you are in a very precarious position. This is going to reveal you, isn't it? But I need to take these shots. I need to get you the upgrade where if you kill something, you don't get revealed. Killing this dude's the priority because he's body blocking the stairs. So just start headshotting people. You won't get a second chance. We need to kill the dashers. The dashers are a threat as well, actually. Give in to your anger. Oh, we could move you up there and we body block them all. There's the risk of activating Advent doing this, though. Go for it. Make the <laughs> make the long run. Watch this be the lo the wrong thing for me to do. Watch this fuck me. No, it didn't. Give me a minute. Right. Let's take a turn. To chill. No. <laughs> no. I didn't bring explosives because I didn't think I'd be fighting you. Right. Let's hope that she fucks up some of the loss. That'd be really nice. Holy crap! There's so many of them. Why are you... why are you revealed? You shouldn't be shooting. You should be concealed. Spotted a flanked enemy. God damn it. That means Advent's here now as well. Okay, so she's there, right? being a tad risky here. There's a soldier we can rescue. They've activated. Hopefully this now means that the Lost will go for them a bit. And that they'll maybe target some of the Lost. Shadow, Cloak again. And then I really want to try and get the Claymore on her, but I'm not going to get that, am I? Oh wait, I am. I am, I can do it. I 
I need to kind of. It's going to be that, but that does get her. And I just hope that somebody else in the squad can take that shot. No, nope, doesn't look like anybody can. Do we just start shooting people? Try and kill him. That's maybe a better way to do it. We'll blind him, because then his shots will be crap. She does have a lot to get through, but at the same time, like there's a lot I've got to deal with. It works both ways, sadly. I know she takes it, she takes more damage from explosives, so I don't want to use the micro missiles just yet. Who activates first? It's Advin that activates first. And I'm in a pretty safe space. She doesn't activate... Yeah, she doesn't activate any... Um, like... What's the word I'm looking for? Overwatch. She doesn't act... She didn't kick off Overwatch. But I'm, I am hoping that she's just going to have to deal with so much of the, the loss that it's too much of a problem for her. Yeah. Advent over... Advent begin first. He marks one of the lost. And then he's going to take the shot. Go on, Pickle Possum. Killed him. Oh, the dude the dropped loot. We're never going to get that loot. Okay, good. He missed. Now it's her turn. Where does she go? We will, we will never know. We'll never know where she went. You are weak. There's so many. Oh, he's coming up the the dude on the right's going up the stairs. He's got a gun. Oh she's there. Excellent. The lost have guns. This is new. Right, I don't think you're going to be able to chuck a grenade far enough. You need to go kill him. But can you shoot him instead? 100% chance to hit. Yeah, kill him. Micro missile. Let's just get her. That that draws more lost as well. More for her to deal with. Of course you've got no ammo. See now she's out in the open, she's subject to flanking attacks. We just we're doing shit damage. Um, is there any way you can get a shot on her? Because she takes like double damage from you, no?
that's going to reveal you, that's going to reveal you. Well, that's risky. It's real risky. Iron Lord, why can you not see her? Oh, the, if I could get a grenade on her, it'd be so good, but I can't. I'm going to put the Templar there to body block that staircase, right? Fire your pistol. That actually did some damage. Nice. And um, then... Iron Lord, you are going to run and try and get the VIP for me. Because we're going to start getting them out. And then it's it's what I'm doing here. So drop down. It's not going to kill her. I'm only a few things away from getting another tripper though. It's a 50-50 chance to reveal as well. Fuck it, shoot him. I only did four damage, come on. And I revealed the more! Okay. Okay, we can... Yes, he missed, that means his turn is over. It's then the Chosen's turn, where are you going? You're coming to fuck my Reaper up, aren't you? Yep. are going to swarm that trip and hopefully kill him. Good. There she is. Right. I was really oh I probably can't see that's the probably the problem hmm again she has to get to the through the lost I, I just I'm wondering if There's any way I can rescue you. So I think that's her next move is to go after the Reaper and try and take them away. Even with running gun, I'm never going to get far enough. And I can't get close enough. There's nothing I can do. I might have to just overwatch this turn. There's no point in overwatching because I want her to deal with the lost. I don't want to have to deal with them further. Hunker down.
You are weak. There is like nothing I can do. Okay, so no, stop going that way. Yes, go for her. Fuck her up. That's the wrong direction. <laughs> Can't help but notice that there's one of them near us, like near our Reaper. Surely, can you draw a line of sight? There's so many of them. No, we need to be closer. Fuck. You go there, you can see her. Is there anywhere you can get a flanking shot? There. That's. You literally need to move to there to be able to do it. God damn it. Right. See, are there any loss that you can actually kill with your pistol? Yes. There's an 84% chance to hit. Here's my thinking, is to clear some of the lost away and then have our tank rush down and try and shoot the Chosen and see what we can get done. Because we do need to start clearing these guys away. Go for that one. The real Slim Shawnee's just fucking beaming people, Jesus. Like, reload. Right, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna possibly sacrifice one of our soldiers here. Okay, my hoping now is that she'll maybe move towards us though. I mean, that would be one hell of a shot. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen. Can the micro-missiles get her? Oh, the micro-missiles can get her. I didn't realise the micro-missiles had such range. I'm trying to get both these two. There's a space somewhere there. I know it's going to draw more loss, but it will kill the loss next to Dragonoff, which means she's got one less attack coming at her. Yeah. 
and the VIP hunker down, you can hunker down as well. Oh, no, 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 what are you doing, what are you doing? No, stop it, stop it. Stop what you are doing. Cease and desist. Well, she's no longer dazed, that's good. Now we just have these guys to deal with. Of course I move the tanks and then they're coming up the stairs. Stop it! Oh god damn it, you're on overwatch. You... you... I'm gonna have to use Pickled Possum's little micro missile to dead. Oh, there's an incinerator. <laughs> oh fuck. Right. There are many problems. Many, many problems. He's in Overwatch, which means if anyone moves, I need to deal with that first, right? Because if she moves, she dies. It might be worth running gunning, running and gunning with Iron Lord to get him like out here to start just clearing some of them away, I think. And you need to start rending some people to death. Oh, I think the game just froze. I've lost all sound. No, I've got sound back. Is it working? Has the game figured out what it's doing? Nope, that is a hard fucking crash. Right, folks. Um. Yeah. Fuck. And it's going to take like 15 minutes to load that back up, so we're going to have to stop there. Because by the time it loads back up, I'm not going to have time to actually finish the game, finish the mission. Okay. Yeah. Big oofed. You never know. Maybe that's the God's way of saying that, like, you know, the Reaper was going to die. We'll let you have this one. Your game's going to crash. You, you know. Because it should have saved. It should auto save because I'm playing on Iron Man. It should auto save every turn. I guess I'll find out next week when I launch it back up. We'll see where we are. I don't know. Anyway. Thank you everybody for tuning in. That was a bit of an abrupt end I'm afraid. But um, you know this is the risk I run. Running 85 mods on this game. Um, but thank you to everybody who has tuned into the chat. Thank you to El Poncho, Toasty, Erebus, MST for coming along. Um, chatting away. Keeping me fucking going. Uh, apologies to Jesse Wood for fucking killing you in like the first mission of the night and being our first casualty of this campaign um, so yeah if you've enjoyed this guys um, you're watching this live on Twitch there's a link to the community discord uh, you can join the discord if you want to and you'll get updates on when I go live uh, when videos go out on YouTube so right now there is a Dawn of War Dark Crusade series going out on YouTube started today um, you can chat with me, give me feedback um, you'll also get your name put in for the XCOM series because um, again all the soldiers that are in it are members of the community and um, yeah, I'll be back next Monday with more XCOM, I'm looking forward to it and hopefully it won't fucking crash I'll see you all in the next one everybody later